Ahoy, ye mateys! Welcome back to the 29th episode of my full game walkthrough, which is also the 10th episode I'm filming on my Buccaneer. Last episode, we learned from our Skull Island network that Don Rodrigo's long-lost love, Carolina aka Mustang Sally, was hired by Gortez of Monquista to do a high-risk political job. In order to get passage into the small colonial town of Port Rigo, where Sally was last seen, we defeated a Monquistan ship captain called Count Brastillo de Bras, who was wanted by the Marlebonian government. Now we've taken Count Brastillo to the governor in Port Rigo, we bought a new ship, a Royal Navy skiff, and we are on our way to find out where Sally went. Ahoy, Gilbert, have you seen Sally? <laughs> Safeguard of our nation. Here, find an end at last to all privation. See anything you like, spare all you can afford. <laughs> These guys, by the way, are a reference to the famous opera pair Gilbert and Sullivan. Forgive my partner. What he means to say is greetings, Captain. May we interest you in any of our way? <laughs> But I fear she's lost. Oh, sorrow. Where is she lost to? I understand you're here to find Sally, but I wonder if you might partake of some employment along the way. I understand you're asking a favor of me. There's a rather important shipment of goods we've been expecting for some time. <laughs> Best not get into exactly what they are. You understand? I understand. Although our dark career sometimes involves the crime of stealing, we rather think that we are... Enough. Our man Rackstraw was to take delivery in the sewers, but he hasn't come back yet. You'll find the drain leading into the sewers under the bridge. Go check on Mr. Rackstraw and see what's what with him. All right. A favor for a favor according to the Pirate Code of Honor. Mr. Rackstraw? You eat the Rackstraw? Well, we found him first. Get him, lad. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> of course something bad has happened to the shipment. Oh my goodness. These guys are level 27. My units are level 26. Uh, we should be able to do this. I'm really looking forward to when Barnabas can get rank 2 Vengeance Strike. Right now my pirate is level 29, hopefully I'll be level 30 soon. <laughs> my crab is better than those crabs. Yeah! Shoot the living stuffing out of him. Don't 
Don't you dare hit me. All right, Mr. Rexstra. Right, what happened to that shipment? Uh, bad news, I'm afraid. The shipment, it's gone. Gone where? Here I am making sure the deliveries all delivered. When out of nowhere, some bloke gives me a short, sharp shock to the back of me head. Nearly killed me, ain't he? Will I come to? Is all of it gone? I've been looking all over down here, but there's no sign. Oh, what a fat lot of help you are. We've been robbed. Seeing as how they might not be too fond of me right now, I wonder if you might tell the bosses for me. Ah, <sighs> I don't like being the bearer of bad news either, you know. Stolen? Oh, bother. <laughs> well, here's a howdy do. That shipment is eagerly awaited by one of our associates, and it was late already. It will not do to disappoint him. I'm sure. The goods are contraband. We can hardly go to the authorities. We need your help, good captain. Deliver this message to Captain Corcoran, informing him of the delay. All right. Then. Oh. Blind me wants to say something. Hey, captain, I have important information. I can be a aid in your current dilemma. Provided, of course, you care to make a contribution. One gold, certainly. Earlier today, I was minding in my own business when I could not help but hear noises arise from a nearby storm drain. What kind of noises? I distinctly heard the sounds of a fight, followed by the creaking of wooden crates being carried away. They sounded quite heavy. The brigand leader spoke with a clear Valencian accent, and his footfalls clinked like a steel horseshoe. Valencian steel. I must conclude the villain who stole this cargo was a unicorn from Valencia. Thank you very much. That's very useful information. Here we are in the tavern. Captain Corcoran. A contract. Go tell Mr. Sullivan I delivered it as promised. It was late, true, but through no fault of mine. Stolen? Well, that's unfortunate, but hardly my business. Well, I offer what help I can. A unicorn. I know who that must be. Who is it? Iago. He's a Valencian rogue, as treacherous a unicorn as ever sailed the skies. He worked for Nick Deadeye, boss of the Wharf Rats in Scrimshaw. Deadeye must want Port Regal's black market. I can't stop him, but you can. Find Bill Bobstay in Scrimshaw. He'll put you on Deadeye's trail. All right. 
I'm sure if we get that shipment back for Gilbert and Sullivan, they will help us find Sally. By the way, Iago is a Shakespeare reference. Uh, it's a character in Othello. Bill Bobstay, can you put us on Nick Deadeye's trail? Nick Deadeye, keep your voice down. Best not talk about Deadeye too loudly. His vile crew pretty well runs Scrimshaw, and they are not friendly. Okay. You're looking for the Valencian? Well, Nick Deadeye, he'd certainly know. But I doubt he'll be eager to tell you. You'll have to uh, persuade him. Well, I'm good at persuading. Go to the Pequod, the shipwreck under the jaws of the whale. That's where they meet. Thanks very much. Nick Deadeye. What's he? Come to me, Paul, I'll help up. If you knew where you were, you wouldn't have come. Now, what can I do for ye? I want Iago, the Valencian rogue. Now, now, why would ye be looking for him? You're threatening an air friend of mine. Get at me, Hardy's. Time <laughs> to play. Hard. Indeed, time to play. Ah, these are wharf rats. Alright. Get him, Burgess. A <laughs> shabby long tail. You dare hit me, Nick? <laughs> ah, blast and dash it all, I yield. Pardon me. As to that stolen contraband, it's not here. Lago hasn't delivered it yet. Ye can have it, if ye can take it from Lago, that is. Well, where can I find him? There's a vortex hard by Port Regal. That's where he's hiding. So good journey to ye, pirate. I'd not come back this way if I were ye. Well, thank ye. 
Hand over those stolen goods. Aha! A new challenge! <laughs> Let us cross blades indeed. By the way, privateers get to recruit Iago after this fight. But other classes have to buy the crown shop version if they want him. <laughs> it's kind of funny to see a giant crab doing so much damage to a shark. Oh yeah. Yeah, go Bonnie. Alright, let's take those goodies back to Gilbert and Sullivan. I've heard of you. It's an <laughs> Iago is actually one of the few male characters in this game that's kind of charming. Mr. Sullivan, we return with your cargo. You're back. Did you find the shipment? Excellent! <laughs> oh joy, oh rapture, oh sin. <laughs> Enough, I say. Pirate, you pulled us out of a hard spot. Mustang Sally? Yes, we've seen her. She visited us a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago? Where did she go? A lady fair to see the Pearl of Piracy. But I fear she's lost. Oh, sorrow. Condemned to sit in solemn silence oh, and turn dark dock. In a pestilential prison with a lifelong lock. Enough! Sally came to these skies to free a prisoner from Fort Elena, but was captured and is now a prisoner there herself. Oh, so that's what happened. She was working with a pirate friend of ours. His ship is moored some ways from here, inside a great cave carved to look like a monster. A great cave carved to look like a monster. Oh, there is the cave. When I came here for the first time, I was really impressed by the design of this place. Just look at it. It's like a painting.
Oh, there's a whole bunch of pirates on this ship. Wonder what they're up to. Ahoy there, fellow pirate. Have you seen Mustang Sally? Ahoy, Captain. Meow, meow, meow. This is quite the honor. <laughs> I've heard of you. You're the one who found Old Gun's treasure. Well played. You're quite the rogue, aren't you? So I am. Well, well, if it isn't <laughs> Captain Kitty himself. Tell me, I guess you're a stinking coward. <laughs> Hello again, Ratbeard. Captain heard you with a trusting salt, but I had no idea. Do you keep this one out of mercy or pity? Bit of both, I would say. I'll <laughs> rinse your ears off. Let me at him. Enough. We are here to find Sally, not argue. Wise words, Kobe. Ah, you're looking for Sally? She was working with me to free a prisoner from Fort Elena. Now she's trapped there, poor thing. Who was she trying to free? A prisoner? Now that's a secret. Can I trust you? Do I not look trustworthy? I think I can. Mm. Gortez hired Sally and I to free none other than Napoleguin himself. Napoleguin? Where to begin? Some say Napoleon is the most dangerous mind in the spy world. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I can tell you he is a military genius and surprisingly short. <laughs> uh, but please don't tell him I said that. He has this thing about his height and wearing tall hats and... Uh, you know what? Forget I said anything. <laughs> you have been to Polaris, right? No? Oh my, well it's a lovely place if you like glaciers and penguins and pickled herring. Which is much tastier than it sounds, actually. I know, I know, it has a reputation for being salty and overpowering. But, if you find the right herring flavors, it can be an absolutely delightful foundation for morning brunch. Mr. Norrington and I swear by it. <laughs> now, what was I saying? Oh, yes, Napoleon, military genius. Well, you do know that he managed to climb from shipping clerk to emperor of Polaris in only ten years. It's by the way, I absolutely <laughs> love those pants. So flattering. Where did you find them? I have so much trouble finding pants that fit. They're always too <laughs> tight around the hips. It's a curse. I have my mother's tail. What's that? Oh, Napoleon. Well, he was betrayed, of course. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I assumed you knew the rest. Marleybone started a revolt in Napoleon's backyard, and Valencia unleashed that clockwork armada. They mm. turned the tide. The Polaroon was captured and imprisoned here at Fort Elena. Fort Elena is also where they're holding our friend, Mustang Sally. And I have to say, it's an absolute beast of a prison. Thick walls, stout gates, huge guns, and an army of guards. Gortez and I intend to free the Polaroon. It's a crazy idea, I know. But Gortez wants the Polaroon to win his little civil war in Monquista and... As for me, <laughs> my <laughs> will keep me and Mr. Norrington and Pickled Harry for the rest of our days. So that's the arrangement. I get you into that prison to free your friend. You bring Napoleon back here to me. Sounds like a plan, but how do we get into Fort Elena? I'm hiring you to start a war. It's a prestigious line of work with a long and glorious tradition. Um... So we gotta distract them by starting a war? Start by attacking Marleybone ships. Report back once my countrymen are well riled up. Um, okay. This is the part of the story that's kinda crazy. We gotta do all these mischievous things to uh, start a war so that we can create a distraction and sneak into the high security Fort Elena. And what we do is going to affect <laughs> what happens later in the story. You'll see. Meow, well done, Captain. You've stung Her Majesty's Navy into action. And now the real fun begins. Ready for more? Mm -hmm. So how do we sting them up further? Marley bones are normal, but we need them really angry. So what's next? You sneak into Port Regal and abscond with the governor's oldest daughter. Sounds very moral. It's brilliant! The young lady's always sneaking away in search of adventure, and it drives her father absolutely crazy when she does. 
Trump is snouting her chambers to pin the blame on Valencia. Mr. Gilbert in Port Regal will advise you. Bring the girl here when you're done. All right. By the way, this was a quest that was actually modified in response to player feedback because people felt that kidnapping a girl was not the best thing for our characters to do, so they changed it so that um, the girl's personality is such that she actually wants adventure. And then Bonnie Ann gets a line later to protest uh, the morality of this deed and it just adds a little bit more ambiguity, so yeah. Gilbert, our pirate friend Catbeard, has this nefarious plan to kidnap the governor's daughter. Welcome back, young pirate. The governor's daughter? My, you mean to engage in some true skullduggery. Mabel, the governor's daughter, is in the governor's mansion. No doubt under heavy guard. Her bedchamber is upstairs. The best way in is through the cellars. Okay. There's a tunnel you can use to get in. Beware, Captain, for her father is a Major General. <laughs> yes, yes, he is a Major General. Good luck. Thank you. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Today, we uh, started asking around in the pirate network in Puerto Rico as to where Mustang Sally has gone. And we learned that she was in fact hired to free none other than the Polaguin himself. So that's a very, very high security prison, and Mustang Sally has in fact been locked up in that same prison now. So, in order to break into that prison, what we have to do is uh, stir up a war and then sneak in when everybody's distracted. So, we are currently in the process of performing a nefarious deed to steal the daughter of the governor of Puerto Rico and pin the blame on Valencia and cause a whole lot of trouble so that we can create the distraction we need to go into Fort Elena and free Mustang Sally. So stay tuned, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching!